how to do it, but I knew that that's what I wanted to do. I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I'm gonna spend my whole life, my whole life trying to figure it out. Seven pounds, nine ounces, your champion is Jacob Wheeler. Your 2012 Forest Wood Cup champion, Jacob Wheeler. He is the youngest BFL All-American champion ever. The youngest Sportsbook Cup champion in history. It, it means the world. It is the biggest thing that's ever happened in my life. He won the second stop at Table Rock. Wow! Unbelievable! Jacob Wheeler makes history! The run continues for Wheeler. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Tournament season is here. This is the first day video on Lake Diarbon. We're waiting on the guys to come back. And uh, I did not fish today. Um, I fish on Group B. I fish tomorrow. It's supposed to be 22 degrees in the morning. Um, it was 22 this morning. Fairly chilly. Um, We'll get into all the logistics, all the goods when the guys get back here, hear what went down. I think uh, Mark and DC are both inside the cup. Mark is actually up there for having a chance to potentially win the round on, on next day. So, um, And then DC's just outside the cup with about a pound, pound and a half or so. So I'm sure we'll have some good stories when the boys get back. i got to rig a couple more rods and get ready for tomorrow. Oh, you ain't just kidding me. All right, guys, checking back in. So Mark and the boys got back. Um, they actually went and got crawfish. They got crawfish without me. That's how they do your boy. And I said, man, come on, guys. Come on, man. No, but they came back. Uh, everybody just sort of got back late, so we really didn't get to run down to really what went down and how everything went, you know, went yesterday. We got to catch them today. It's another 24-degree morning. You see my breath? Chilly. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to go. I think I sped before the tournament even started. I said, hey, I'm going to catch him on a jerk bait in the flat side. My, that's, my, that's my plan. <laughs> that's my plan, throw a jerk bait in the flat side. I go back and forth on exactly where I want to go, where I want to start at. But man, I mean, there's, um, I think I'm going to go one way today, and then if that doesn't pan out, sort of switch it up and go to somewhere different the next day. So, had a few bites in practice, but nothing consistent. Mm -hmm. If you guys saw the practice vlog at all, you could tell. I mean, I caught a few fish, but it was like, wasn't even on the same kind of stuff. Um, just a different kind of deal. So, um, hope we can get out there. I'm gonna grab some coffee real quick here because I'm gonna need it today for sure. But the good thing is we are also taking off a little bit later. So, things are warm up pretty quick. degrees in the truck when we got in the truck is 20 24 23 i think it dropped down to 23 on the drive so it's warming up it's a flat calm day sunny feels like a dang jig day almost like dang i'm pitching a jig around real slow methodical i mean jeez we're gonna find out though jerk 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 got him bang it Okay, so the one thing you have to have when you're, it's cold morning, always, for me, hot hands is a good one, but nothing like a good warm coffee, or tea, or hot chocolate if you don't like coffee, whatever, just something warm, heck, even hot soup, that's, that warms you up. 
from the inside out. How you doing, sir? Very good. How are you? Oh, good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's what's up. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, thank you. And, and it's our state representative. Hey, yes, hey, thank you, you, you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to be here. Good. Trust me, we are. Thank you all. All right, so it is warming up right now, actually. Got the camera, guys. Got everybody in this boat today. We got a ton of people out here. Um, checking us out also a lot of people came out to say what's up looking forward to saying hey to a lot of those people um, This afternoon a little bit crazy this morning just trying to get everything together always the first tournament jitters It's always how it goes down Got some work to do today. Got some work to do today. Need the to, goal is a three fish <laughs> It's not easy to get a bite out here. So I'm saying three fish is my goal one a period um, And hopefully they're big ones Got us one. So we get a rod. Got so excited just leaving the rod back there. I mean, that's this is exactly like a little shad too. Man, sometimes you just gotta fish around a little bit. And... Well, we have got one bite so far. Really, like, I, I just got into an area where I had a couple. I had a short fish and, a, and a, maybe like a three pounder bite me. And uh, I figured I would slow down and just fish around this area a little bit. I, uh, we've got one, I'm a little tiny, and just a little seawall, so I might, you know, just sort of, I'm not seeing very many, I'm not seeing really much bait. Um, this is the thing, I, I know this event's gonna be a grind, you know, it's gonna be one of those deals you're gonna have to put your head down and go to work. You know, my goal from the beginning of the day was, hey, let's get three, one a period, you know. This afternoon, things should warm up. I feel like these fish are pretty cold. You know, they're probably not used to this cold weather down here in Louisiana too awful much. So, fortunate to get one in the boat. Um, just have to really pick stuff apart. I mean, there's a lot of timber out here, a lot of targets. Fish the mouths of places where these fish should be moving into here real soon to spawn. Had one on me. Hmm. So I'm gonna freaking take that. There he is, big and dude. Ah, oh, it's a pickerel. Sucker. Got the hay. Pickerel. Pickerel. Got that one to bite. Boy, you had me going there. You were acting right too. Unfortunately. Not the one I wanted. Gee, me, Christmas. It's pretty dang tough right now. I'm trying to, to get a vibe. You know, I wanted to sort of slow down this zone. I'm contemplating going up the way, but the problem is, I just, man, I, a lot of pressure there in practice. I just feel like doing a lot of the same stuff up there, but man, there was just a lot more boats. You really just got to be able to decipher a couple different things i'm trying to actually fish you know completely new water fish around a little bit and sort of see what's going on it's a little bit steeper bank right here so a lot of really good little spawn on top of habitat right in this zone so i felt like if i slow down throw a little tiny maybe throw a little local special i'll be able to you know generate a few bites but i'm just not been seeing it there's there's definitely a lot of places these fish do not live that's for sure. That's sort of where I'm getting. That's sort of what I'm seeing. Whoo, that dang twig right there felt good. Promise you that. That sucker, I said, ooh. I don't know if I want to go crank, if I want to. We'll just, we'll just sort of figure it out. Might slide up the way for a minute. Need a sub, sip of some coffee. Wake up. We're meeting our quota. 
<laughs> I like to blow that quote out of the water though, man. Overachiever trying to try to just do that, but like I'm not I'm not gonna be I'm not going to be picky. I'm just hoping the next couple are like the size that Fletcher and Andy call it. <laughs> then we just be like, all right. Okay. I don't feel real good about it. And that's why you shut down. Slow it down, boys. Whew. Has Kevin or uh, Randy caught one? All right, y'all. It's the deal. We got one. One. I didn't get that on my chesty. Um, but we do have one. We got some work to do. We got to get on uh, up the way a little bit. The one thing. Ooh, we stumps galore. Oh, there's another one. Let's go. Um, the one thing about this is you're just not, you're going to have to generate all poles. Thank you. You're going to have to generate, you know, a handful more bites. We're going back up here to the backwater. The thing about this part of the lake, upper portions of the lake, when you get towards backwaters and stuff, they ultimately warm up the fastest. They, cold, they, they cool off the fastest, but they warm up the fastest as well. So it's a really big deal when you're trying to, the first fish that are gonna spawn are up in the upper regions of your lake, and then it drops off to, you know, then it starts working your way down the pockets, and then it goes to the main lake. So that's sort of the reason why we're gonna go slide up this way. We're gonna fish a little bit, see if we can generate one or two bites. I had some bites up this way in practice, but we'll see what happens. All right, we gotta get our, we gotta get our stuff together a little bit. There's gotta be. backed off in this ditch that's why I started where I started at thinking they probably did I did see some bait might be an afternoon thing that wind blows a little bit get some going boy this ain't no dang joke right here mm. all right I might spend a little bit more time in here I've seen a couple come up on my jerk bait Man, I, you could tell like the one the stripe really well in in this zone right my right now. It's like in practice that wind was really blowing, and um, it just blew a lot of that bait into those areas, and it seemed like it was pretty productive. We slide up here. There's quite a few boats in this area, and I just maybe I mean, they might be just in a foul mood. Heck, I can understand why. <laughs> I can't. I ain't, I'm not playing. Hey, it is what it is. Dang, Linder has got four for four, 15, 14. Okay. Man, it's just getting to where it's like so slick. I mean, this period right here, if you can catch a couple here, it's, it's almost like, it feels like a jig period. We've caught two today. Caught one score with one on. Little one. He might. One pound, 12 ounce. There we go, heck yeah. Whew. Well, that is not an easy. I have gotta slow down. Damn, I messed that tree up right there. There we go, grinding on them. It wasn't quite a dingable bass, but I, I'll tell you what, I, I'm pretty, pretty dang excited about that one. <laughs> yeah, he was a 112, yeah. Not a great big one or anything, but but man, there's I'm gonna probably take my time in here, go around and flip these trees a couple more times. There was some right there, I just couldn't give them a bite. Hey, one a period. <laughs> what I say, one a period. This is one a period, boys. Dang, that was a dang goof deal. Caught her dang line, caught herself. I mean, it's definitely getting right to catch them. Pike, pickerel, little one. Mm-hmm. One pound, nine ounce. 
All right, I think I know what's up. Hey, yo, I know what's up. All right, them goofy little suckers. Okay, you, you little suckers are, y'all make me work for it. I didn't take some of my stuff off. I didn't even, I didn't think it was gonna be warm enough to even bring nothing. I'm trying to catch every one of the bass in here. I'm gonna try. They're gonna stay in here too. All right, everybody. We are ultimately within, ooh, about tick to dang stump. Every time I'm drilling the stump, I'll put the GoPro on. We've caught three, three scoreables, which was the quota for the day, but we needed big and I'm, I'm, I'm getting greedy now. We got the quota, we just need a big one. So let's go try to find us a new area maybe. Might be all right. So it's made it a little bit difficult. What's up, pup? I have a chocolate lab at the house. Sucker's like nine years old. He's a good pup. That's the one we need. Right there. Hold up. Come on, buddy. Come here, buddy. Whew. There we go. <laughs> That's what's up. Went thunk. Three pounds, zero ounce. There we go. Let me hear it. Ding. Yep. Thank you very much. Three pounder. Woo-wee. Man, that was a nice one right there heck yes all right let's go i feel better about it now hopped it up there perfect they're, they're moving up a little bit sunshine big there we go hey okay the trees are it's happening it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Two pound, one ounce. Beautiful fish. Gosh. All right. We're coming for them now. We're coming to. Whoo. Whoo wee. There you are. Same one. Okay. This is yours. Oh, what the heck? Hey, oh, we got to get a picture now. You sound good. Hoorah. Well, oh, man, oh, you're not messing around over <laughs> here. You tell everybody you seen old mountain man. I seen old mountain man. It's so good. Hey, man, keep it up. I'm going to try to. It was tough to tell until this afternoon. I caught me a few of them, but they weren't easy. Yeah, like back I knew. Back. I, like, you I said, well, okay then. <laughs> okay then. You guys keep doing that. I'm going to keep on real y'all in. Yeah, I, I like fishing top water. Uh, Oh, oh rattling road, shallow dive. Oh, you spring. straight wrecking on them suckers. Do, 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 cool. Come up, watch it, man. That's There's good, nothing man. better. Oh, thank, thank, you. thank you all. We'll thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you all. Right. Is there any way you could sound like right here? I probably can, yeah. Hold on, let's, let's get a picture. Yeah, I'll take one. Talk a lot of smack. Sure. If you want to hold that. Yeah, absolutely. It was not easy. Hey, it, it was definitely that way. Sorry, I'm just gonna lock some stuff up here real quick. I finally caught me a couple. You had two, bam, bam. I'm like, oh, oh. I said, uh-oh. Oh. Hopefully. Okay. All right, y'all. Be good. Hey, thank y'all for showing out. See you Wednesday. All right, we'll do. All right. All right, y'all. Grinded.
grinded for a few bites today, but we made it work. Uh, I think we're sitting inside the top 10. Woo -woo. It was not easy. Woo, it was not easy. Not easy at all. Look who we got here. Well, you didn't think y'all was gonna come to Louisiana and not get a dose of meat, did you? Uh huh. I'll get you some. Oh, thank you, Mr. Charlie. What do you got there? So we got some prime New York strips, mainly because that's all they had to feed all these hands, these mouths around here. And then we got some ducks. We got some fresh green wing teal killed on January 31st, last day of season. And then we got some Louisiana sausage. We got some deer sausage. I forgot the veggies at the house, so we going a little heavy tonight. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mark's got some asparagus, so I'll cook that. But I, I had asparagus and broccoli too. But so we we're just gonna sample all things North Louisiana. That's what we gonna do. No, you ain't never been into a piece of steel. No, you talking about steel shot? Yeah. Oh yeah. That is one thing. What do you think will happen? Um, what you cooking? What? Oh, some steak. Oh, we got some named duck in there. Look at my mom. Oh, it's so good, bro. I got like a buddy. Anytime I'm out there, he's like, how are you doing? Come on. This, this is literally unbelievable. Hey, bro, you need to put that camera down. You need to grab yourself a steak. Yeah, whatever, Tanisha, you already had all of them. Yeah, right here. I forgot you. Unreal. Okay. So, yesterday went pretty dang well. Uh, enjoyed the night with my boys, uh, Justin Martin. Big shout out to my boy, Jay Mart for uh, coming out and cooking a feast, a feast for us. Um, we just hung out and sort of chilled last night. The guys are out there today, so I'm wishing all my boys some luck. But we are on bussy break. And on bussy break, you can tell from the background right here, there's a lot of trees. The water's actually a little bit stained. I can see some grass floating, so I assume there's a decent amount of grass in this lake. Um, we're going to start to see what this place is sets up like. I mean, basically, we have a four-hour ride-around period. So if we were to make the, the championship round, um, we will be coming here. And so with no fishing, just going off a of gut instinct, which I definitely do enjoy. Um, but it's going to take some time. So I'm going to go run around a little bit, sort of see if we can find some stuff. And I'll check back with you. I mean, you just never know. Like, you think you might find some good stuff, but... It, this is going to be a shallow water stuff. You're going to mark some edges, some places that look good. Probably just the roll with it, you know, if you can qualify for that championship round. So, that's what we're going to do. See you guys here in a second. All right, y'all, I got that midday update. Midday update. I'm um, just finishing up here on Bussy Break. It's like beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. You can tell that ultimately uh, this place has a lot of bass in it. Um, I don't know if the conditions right now are going to be the best for it, but there is a lot of grass. Um, lot, I don't know if it's hydrilla, I can't make a cast, so I don't really know. There's some nice grass. Uh, I would assume those areas are going to be key. And then also along the channels, I feel like that's probably where it's in there. There's really like three areas that have the good grass in it right now that are still close adjacent to deep water. And then and then you have a couple areas that, um, that have those little channels and edges that seems to have the majority of the bait. So that's my guess right now. That's what I'm taking from this, this ride around period. I spent about three hours out here, ran around by the whole thing. Um, the thing is, it, it's so vast, there's so much water, is you're not gonna be able to ultimately see uh, everything, but you're not gonna, also you're not gonna be able to fish at all. Like a lot of this, you're not the fish to figure out if these fish are here. This is not something you're going to go out here and graph and, and typically find them um, in one particular area. So we're going to find out if we uh, if we can work hard and, and get to catch a few bass. We first got to make it to Caney, and then we got to make it to, to, to Bussy. So um, real quick here, Mark is leading. He's leading by a good, good margin right now. So a little bit of update for you guys. If he wins today, he will qualify for the knockout round or the championship round automatically. And real quick here, I'm going to check and see where he sees that. Adrian's just inside the cut. He's got 11-3, he's got to get some work done. There's one more period left. And then DC, let's check in on my boy DC. DC is still not caught one. He is six pounds something outside the cut. So he just needs to get a couple bites. Um, uh, you, never count, you never count DC out, that's for sure. So we're keep on riding. We're gonna head back to the house. 
I gotta swap this troll motor out because I destroyed it. And unfortunately, Minn Kota did not come uh, this week uh, to support their product. Anyway, I'm gonna run back and uh, I'm thinking about thinking about maybe running maybe a different troll motor. Uh, we'll see. Anyway, so hope you guys are having a great day and we're gonna get back. We'll check back with you guys soon. All right, y'all. So yesterday, if you remember, um, if you guys seen in the video, I had a troll. Oh, hold up, I'll show you. It was not my day as far as troll motor. So first, I hit a hit a hit a, uh, a log, breaks my prop. So I replaced that, dropped the pin, which I've done before, but finally got it going. I had a backup pin, thankfully. So I'm pretty good to go there. Then I had my cameras cut out. And I square up like a tree. I'm mean, not a tree, but it's like a stump. I had to hit it perfect, I guess, like where it just pushed back and the whole shaft broke. I heard a pow! And that's what we got. Unfortunately, there are no Minn Kota service trailers here this week. So your boys are service trailers. It's, you know, it's sort of, um, I'd love to be able to swap that prop, that this, this shaft out, but that's um, not gonna happen. So I, but I, fortunately, I do have another one um, right here, which is crazy. I don't typically have that. Like if I didn't have that, I'd be dead in the water unless I could find one around this area. So, I mean, we're just like anybody else. I mean, that's the thing is like for me, a lot of this is, is figuring out what troll motor to run. You know, if, if you know, hey, Lawrence is gonna be there day in and day out. For me, if I break a sh prop or a shaft like I did yesterday, you want to have that support system. So it's really going to go into my decision making on what I run because at the end of the day, if you don't have somebody to, to, to repair it and that's the only thing you have, you literally are dead in the water. So it's part of the deal. It's a huge shout out to all the guys in the service trailer that come out because they do a heck of a job and we couldn't do it without them. But that's sort of how it goes. So today anyway, so I'm swapping this guy out. Fortunately, I do have one. Um, and I'm going to swap them out. It's a 52 inch shaft, so it's a little bit bigger than I want, but we'll get it figured out. All right, so before we get into this whole troll motor thing and get him knocked out, there's 45 minutes left in the round. First off, let's go check in on DC. DC had not a caught one last time I looked. Uh-oh, DC caught him one for two four, so he is in 33rd place, but he is not, but 11-9. So he's he's six pounds, three ounces outside the cut. Get your cut big and DC's done some stuff like that. So six three, he's in there, but man, he's having a tough one. Man, it's that's how Lake's very efficient, really tough. Let's check in on my boy Adrian. Adrian's in 18th place with 12 pounds, 12 ounces. He's caught three bass today. Working it. Man, he's been killing it. I'm proud of my boy. He's probably gonna make the championship round. So that's a rundown on the guys. Let's get to work. I said, but at the end of the day. That's not, I said, that's not what this is about. I'm like, knock this guy out, knock that guy out. Mr. Fix it over here. Between Brody and I, but really Brody. Okay. All right, y'all. So we just got the troll motor swapped out. Brody helped out, so we did that in under about, about 45 minutes, probably about an hour. The only thing that took us a little bit of time is running stuff a little bit. We do have to tighten some stuff up. I am using electrical tape. Typically using electrical tape on like a lot of your wires, a lot of like Lawrence and Garmin, um, they actually say to use that just so it doesn't, doesn't really crush the wire. So that's what I try to do. Let me grab, hold up boys. Just grabbing a couple things. And Cliff is here with my boy from Justin Martin in Realtree, knocking out some pictures, so I changed real quick. You guys probably noticed from the last time, you're like, wait a second, what's, all of a sudden you change, you have a new hat on, new shirt on, what the heck's going on? That's what's up. So just give me a heads up. I don't just like, bam, just change, just to go ahead and, this is my tr changing tr out troller motor shirt and hat. It's actually what it is. Gotta put it on every time, just look. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Yeah. Right? 
Yeah, I think something like that, or even maybe a little closer to you. All right, so this what's up. Got Godwin back here whipping it up in the kitchen, literally whipping it up. Yeah, that's like right there gonna cook. Hey, and fight out cook. Right, look at this. I know, I, but I can't cook. I just, <laughs> I just eat. knows how to cook. I had to cut these up because there's quite a few scoreable crappie in there. Scoreable, two pounders. <laughs> oh, yeah. Under a pound and a half. <laughs> We're going to do sour cream and flour. Sour cream and flour. You're fixing to get mad. Really? You ain't really been mad. doing this all your life. Really? <laughs> Is that good? Really, man. I'm telling you. Sour cream and flour. So I'm putting my reputation. I just put I just put Louisiana like spicy bar, whatever. Yeah, that's, what them, that's what them rookies do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rookie. Sour cream flour. We're gonna find out. We'll see. We'll see, y'all. We'll see. <laughs> I need a beer. <laughs> because I was confused. Buddy, hey, hold on. Hey, 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 Listen, this DC hey, straight up. He's missed what? Two, is that your second cut ever? Missed? I missed two. No, two. I missed, I missed He's missed three. three. That's three. Third, third. So, so now we're tied. Yeah, we're tied now. You just trying to let me try to come back? Unbelievable. I said, I'm I'm never. Edit this out. That. Gar <laughs> <laughs> hole, son. Yeah. I ain't never in my life in seen somewhere. Did you so plug your <laughs> you batteries in? No. <laughs> I hope it burns down out there. <laughs> Unbelievable how crappy that place was. Well, you get two fish? I caught three in two days. Hard. <laughs> I got some skull right here. Unbelievable. I, got I mean, I've never right seen today. a place that sucks so bad. <laughs> I fished for two and a half miles. I flipped every tree, fished very thoroughly. Didn't matter. Now you could slow down, still wasn't gonna get a bite. I'm a little shitty. It's all shitty. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. went in to put sour cream, look, I put pepper, garlic, and salt in here and mixed them up real good. And I got my sour cream and I'm fixing to put them in there. Look, brand new, ain't never been open. You ever seen one like that? I'm gonna take, oh, look at that. Not enough, not enough. This is the part I want. Not enough, but sour cream on, who heard of that? Yeah, not me. Sour cream on your crappie? Ain't I gonna taste it? Nope, you ain't tasting it. Look, I've almost used this whole tub of sour cream. Almost a whole tub. That's Here we about, go. That's about how many pounds of crappie? Uh, there's a lot. Uh, hey, <laughs> got it. Sir? I bet you there have been more scoreables caught over a pound and a half crappie if we were pushing crappie at Darbone than what there was bass. bass. Oh. That's, that's, that's the hot tip of the week. Is that is that a challenge? I, I guarantee you what I have. All right, you see how much sour cream I got in there? Okay, got you. Don't be scared of the sour cream. All purpose flour. There you go. Woo! Think you got enough? I had a little more. No cornmeal. No, that's sacrilege. Okay. On crappie. Now you put that cornmeal on them brim and them catfish and such. But this manna from heaven, you got to be tender with okay. it. Tender. Okay. I got tender. Tender. Look, guys, if you do this and you feed this to your woman, you fixing to get bait money, boat money. Go get me some more of that. That's what she's been to say. <laughs> so pay attention. You gotta keep going and mix it up. You don't want any wet ingredients. See, that's kind of wet and chunky. You're gonna have to put some more flour in there. Everything's gotta be dry, dry, dry. You if you don't, it'll be kind of doughy on you. So you pour a little more. Don't be worried about this flour. They, they'll grind some more. Just buy everything you can get. Yeah, everything's dry, 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 dry. Dry, dry, dry. I promise you, these women in here, they can go nuts. <laughs> nuts. They just keep going back, keep going back. Even them skinny ones don't look like they eat much. They go in two or three times for these. <laughs> I got to see this. That's how you kept this follow around. Crappy bite. Who don't like crappie? Crappie manna from oh. heaven. Yeah. Very good. I can't judge this because I got them all chopped up because of here we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I hear you. Why is that leaning like it? He forgot something. 
like I'm hungry. Hey, man. Hey. Here's another secret. Here's another secret you gotta do right now. As soon as he pours them in, while they're still wet, you get your favorite seasoning. Duck Commander just happens to make a good one, just saying. So put your seasoning on it now while it's wet. That way it sticks and it stays. Them are gonna be great. Sour cream on What'd you say? I've been cooking crappie for 40 years. And I've never heard of this in my life. But I am going to have to try that one. Oh my. That's a different kind of fry. It really is. Not fair, but on the other hand. My woman seems to like it. Quality check. Quality check. Cameraman. You got to make the cameraman happy. You make the cameraman happy, you get on TV more. Quality check, Rudy. I'll tell you. Right here. Come on, camera guys. Y'all like oh, yeah. it. That's good stuff. What's it need? Man, you just need to see with the Louisiana. No, I was kidding. I'm just kidding. I just kidding. I just kidding. I forgot. I forgot. That was the deal. I'm sorry. That's good. You're supposed to dip it in this. I'm sorry. Really? Oh, I'm sorry about myself. Golly, boy, I'm stupid. All right, now. <laughs> what you got there? We bumped it up a notch. Hey, that's her right there. Mm. Mm. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> that's that her's good. Everybody knows the rules. I'm gonna give him one. That was that was more than one bite, though. I'm gonna go with a. Um, I'm gonna give him a nine with the sauce. I'm gonna give him an eight point three without. I'm gonna give him a nine because you can't go ten. Because ten's like un, unachievable. You, you never you never give a ten because then there is nowhere to go. But there, that's it. It's the max, so I'm gonna give him a nine. Guy, when you got some work to do, <laughs> I think it needs some more salt. <laughs> yeah, that's very pretty there's good. Your, there's your 1.7 coming right there. 1.7 right there. It's pretty good. Pretty tasty. I didn't even get the sauce. It was good. So yeah, I'm out of fish. I need some more fish. For someone who don't eat fish, well, the sauce. Don't eat fish. The sauce does it. The sauce is where it's at. It's always where it's at. The sauce is the, is the deal. You gotta have the sauce. Got him because it is salve. It's salve, huh? Saucing it up. <clears throat> yeah. Huh? Got craziest thing I ever ran into? Like, what's the craziest place you've ever. Alright, guys. Keep up, Shad. Dude right. right here is caught a lot of bass. But he is the mastermind at finding sneak holes. <laughs> like the sneakiest. I'm not talking about a sneak hole like dinged up on an offshore. I'm talking about a sneak hole. Run your boat over the beaver dam, cut a log, then run it through a beaver dam, under the dang beaver dam, and then back into this lake and and catch them. So, Poche. Yeah. Tell me if you got one. One's the crazy in a tournament. I want to know the craziest. We will hold up. Yeah. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him tell me this story, and then I'll let you guys know if it. I, I, I can't. Well, I can't. I, yeah, I would, I, and I, I will tell you as much as I can without giving too much details because yeah. I can't give away. You can't, my can't, secret. You, no, no, no. I mean, don't say, don't say where there, you're there's at. There's guys catching on to this. You know, there's guys catching on. They want to go off grid. They want to go way back, and because there is big ones, there's giants in some of these places. But like we're talking earlier, not all. Not all of them have them. Yeah. But there is this one place. Um, I went there. Hey, bleed that out, Birdie. Like, it got to be bass up there. But it's like super shallow and like the water's got to be right. It's rocky and it's like crazy. So uh, so I so I go, get up in there and I had to like push pull this one place. And I jumped this little, little beaver down to get into this the hole, the, the, the final little place. The, yeah. So I catch like 12 pounds, and I'm getting up there, and I'm push pole, and I say, all right, come to the front, we got because it's so shallow, and I'm in my little off the grid boat, and I'm like, yeah. it was so shallow, I could not push pole. Yeah. Had to work them good, boo. I caught 19 and a half pounds in about 45 minutes, I swear to you. 19 as and a half? 19 and a half pounds, if I'm, am I standing here right now talking to Jacob Wheeler, I caught 19 and a half pounds in 45 minutes. My corner's like, what? All right, that right there, 
That that was the craziest thing I've ever heard. I ain't gonna lie. But here's the thing. There's sneaky stuff offshore. There's sneaky stuff in the backs of places. It's just that the sneaky of the sneakiest stuff. I mean, I got to give it to everybody. Like you and Otter and guys that constantly are looking for that one gem. Because the thing is, that is not easy. No. People don't realize. 99% of that stuff is garbage. Yeah, 100%. And then you work your butt off to get there and you're like, trash, garl. I find well, the 99. Hey, but the, <laughs> hey, 99 out of 100 suck. I find the 99. But you find one place, glory. I found a glory hole. Glory hole. I look forward to going back there. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Start on the first one. I'll have the second one open for you. By, by a 1 9 on the back hook. Oh. No. I thought it was like a 1 4. So I just boat flipped them. Oh, I had them like yeah. barely. I got you. But then I still had 45 minutes left and I never got another bite. Mm. This place is a dump. <laughs> Dude, it's cold. Bad. Man, it's, it's cold. Though. I'm sorry. Sorry, everybody that lives around West Monroe, Louisiana. Hey, listen, listen, no, straight up. I don't. Ha I live. Fill will crop. Oh, I call. I call I two told, slabs. I call yeah. two slabs. Hey, I told Mark. I told. I told. I told Brody on the video. I said, listen. You understand? <laughs> if this was. A, if this was literally, if we could weigh pound and a half crappie, there'd be more crappie weighed in the basket. Yeah. Problem. Problem. Back. Yeah. Problem. Back. 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 Yeah. Whatever. I don't. I don't hate. I don't hate on you guys. Because I live in South Jersey and it's tough fishing there. But this place, don't let it be 40 degrees. Yeah, I come back. I'm chugging beers. I don't even care. Hey, I'm sorry. I don't even care. Hey, the good news is it's easy to navigate. You won't even tear your stuff up. Yeah. So no one ever. Okay. First day, about ripped off my gear case. You vlogging? Hey, everybody vlogging right now. Wow, you're vlogging. 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 So, Mark won today. Automatic birth. Going to Bussy Break. I sorry, it looks good too. I, over under, I feel like Mark might have a chance to win this one. I'm just gonna say, I feel pretty good about it. Now we're coming for him though. We got We got to get here first. Then we got to catch him here. Then we can go there. But I anyway, we actually have a chance to win tomorrow too. We just got to catch him like. Now look at the stuff Godwin just dropped. No corn. French fries. Talk to me, Godwin. You best to get mine. Now what's on here? If you fade up to you warm you better get money, bank money. Give me some more. Precious name, amen. Thanks, Thank you. Yes, sir. All right, champ. All right, start it off. Start it off, champ. We've been slurring on. Hey, I already ate like six pieces. Yeah, y'all get after me. Y'all don't wait on me, big dog. Martin done the grilling and blackening right here. We got fried and french fries, and we got some dipping salve right here that, uh, you gonna leave a recipe out there for everybody? No. No. Uh, yeah, yeah, listen, no, I tried to get him on camera. Boy, they, 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 they ain't getting that on y'all's channel. Y'all come see Duck Commander channel. What not? Boy, <laughs> Be sure hey. and like and subscribe. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Buddy. Today's a new day. Come on now, Wesley. Let's go. What? Today's a new day. We got a grackle. Yeah. Got the ramp. Truck is 34, actually. 34 degrees. That's pretty warm. They're heading to the hill. They're heading to go spawn. Pairing up right now, right on them cypress trees, man. They know it's freaking coming. It's on the way. It's hit the bottom now. They're turning the corner. <laughs> it might be happening. I don't know. See here, got that. Check, check, check. We're good there. All right. If you want to hop in, you're good. We'll go. When we get up here, one. When I get up here around the corner, I'm gonna one second. I'm gonna grab one more thing. Yeah, okay, y'all. Yeah, it's actually better for you. This at least it. We got Butch, boat official. OG. We got John, cameraman. We're just having a good time. It's cold. And of course, who do we have? And now DC did not bring him. Little Marshall, we'll bring him in the boat. He's, he, uh, that's like he's good. He's good, Little Marshall. The thing is that DC forgot about Little Marshall, man. Little Marshall is good luck. So hopefully he's saving all the luck for me today. Turn everything on. 
Let the motor warm up. Make sure the trolling motor works. Lucky number 13. By Jason Lambert. Yeah. How's your day been, Butch? How's your day been? How, how's everything been? Life been good? Uh, a minute and a half. Okay. I'll probably just flip the jig, truthfully. plan is to catch as many of them as we possibly can. I started in this place the first day and never got a bite, but I was not flipping. So I'm gonna take my time, pitch around a little bit, have a little fun, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we don't get too stressed out from score tracker is when I'm open. Take my time, man. A lot of it's just Paying attention. There should be a couple bass in here, I would say. Pressure's, I'm sure, gonna get to this place eventually. There's only so many places the fish are actually pulled up in a little bit, and I'm sure it's not everywhere. I wanna see one of them, you just hop it, or just, you just freaking pitch it over there and it just line jumps, line. Good one. Come on, dude. Come here. I'm trying to make sure he doesn't jump. It's a freaking good one. Come here. Come here. Come here. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There we go. That's a good one right there. Right in the top of the mouth. Had to pick that spinner rod up. Went doink. Four pounds, two ounces. Bing, baby, that should be right there. Is going to be the knockout round right there. I'm pretty sure we're just locked in right a four pounder. Thank you so much for biting. Fish, I'm, just, I'm literally thanking you. Thank you, sir. You go ahead right back where you came from. Whew. Gosh, man, that feels so good. To get a, all right. Uh, you hear that score tracker ding, 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 ding. Right, man, we are not catching crap. Butch, we got out of there. Four pounder, man, get the heck out of there. Well, now we gotta have fun. If we can find one group of them or something, bust them upside their heads. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take it out because I don't want to catch one. We'll re, revamp a couple things and whew, make it to Caney, man. One, one, one a period. That was my my, my quota. Uh, every day I've been trying to catch one at one at one a period, you know. Now, Caney's gonna be a little bit different story. Okay, I gotta come up with a game plan on these suckers. There he is, better one right there, too. Trick that one and bite. No, not a better one. I thought it was. Dang. <laughs> And it's not. I'm gonna weigh him to see. I'm gonna say another one four, right? Yeah, two ounces. Man, you got me, Butch. Dang you. Dang, you got me, son. You good at it. I gotta give it to you. There is a reason why you call, they call you Mr. Boat Official.
son. Mm -mm. You done messed up, son. Nope. Plus, uh, there's got to be some starting to slot up. Six pounds, six ounces. There we go. Solid fish. That is what you want exactly. I'll show you where I caught that fish right there. If you look pan over there, it's a little regularity. That, that little vein of that cypress tree you're sitting right up underneath there. Thump. Shallower trees definitely seems like they don't want to be on them further out ones. I just fished the outside ones and came back around and caught that one right there. Whew. All right. One pound, nine ounce. There we go. Not a great big one. I said, I just said that. I, I, I thought, I was like, man, I cannot believe we hadn't got a bite in here. Not a great big one. That's probably a little little male. Pound and a half for he is, it's hard to know. 14, three quarters. 14, almost a 15 inch fish. I thought a pound and I was like, I was wondering what a, fat, a, fat, a, fat, a pound and three quarter, pound and a half it was. I was like, I'm pretty sure that was a good one. All right, all right. All right, what's that? Oh my bad, dang nabbit. I'm sitting there, I get excited. Y'all gotta get excited, I get excited. My bad, I was not trying to, to play the game. I was just excited, I was like, I caught one. I was in just another cypress tree fish right there. Pretty happy dog, man. I bet you ain't as bad as you, you act like. I'm just trying to catch a bass up underneath your dock. Just calm down. I'll be gone in a second. I promise. Okay. We went to work, man. We had to work them suckers. Sheesh. Can I get you home before? Yeah, there you go. There you go. Pleasure to meet you all. Yeah, nice to meet you. Good job, Good job. Good job. Good Hey, we're going to Caney. I hear there's some biggins over there. I'm on over there. That's one that light. Slide over to Martin's place, and then 
we're into this little spot. I guess somewhere down here around around uh, West Monroe. We'll take y'all for a ride. All right, y'all. We are walking in to the walk-ons down here. Hey, the walk-ons. This is where we're closing out. Video number one. Knockout round is tomorrow. Adrian, I don't know, man. We, we got some catch more to do. Just tomorrow, we got a real one I in got for you. I all from Cook. So we're good. Hey, Mark. Yo. You, you, give me some depth. Yo. I'll tell you what. You. I already called a couple You backs. already called Somehow. Them. I so, don't know. So Adrian and I got a some one of us at least got to make it to the championship round. No, no both of y'all are putting the, the pressures on, bruh. Both. You and you. Y'all need to come join me on Bussy Break. Okay. Bruh. That's brushy the plan. Break. Brushy break. Brushy, brushy no, break. It's, it's, yeah, we changed the name. Hey, brushy. 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 <laughs> brushy. 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 We, we really appreciate y'all following along. Hey, check out MDJ's channel. Follow my boy uh, Adrian Davina on social. We are going to smash, grab some bite, grab a bite to eat. Appreciate y'all following along. We are out.